What's up, Loop community? My name's Edge. I'm a Logic Pro certified trainer. And in this session, we're gonna take the track that we've been working on and do a quick little mix down so that we can get our mix a little bit more under control. Let's get started. So we've been adding more tracks to our project. And when we add more tracks, all we're doing is we're adding more volume and more signal to our master out. You can see right here is my stereo out. And watch what happens when I press play uh, to our meters and to all of the sound that's coming out of our project. So you can see that I'm already clipping here. I've exceeded the 0, 0.0 level. I'm currently in the red, and this is not a good thing. When we go and export this out to uh, MP3 or a WAV file, we're gonna get a lot of clipping on here. We're not really gonna get all of the sounds that we, we really want. It's, it's really not a good way to, to work with our, with our project. So we're gonna do a quick mix down to make sure that the signal that's coming out of our project stays right at about 0, 0.0. Later on, we'll slap on some um, limiting and some compression for our overall mix, but it's a good practice to kind of make sure that you're not clipping before um, we actually get to the master output. So we'll do that. Logic has got a lot of windows to work with, and one of them is the mixer window. Um, you can get quick access to the mixer by pressing the letter X and that'll open up the mixer down here right in the browser. But this doesn't give you the full view of what you're trying to work on. So I'll press the letter X again to get rid of it. Uh, what I really want is a bigger view of the mixer and I'm just gonna go to where it says window in the toolbar at the top. I'm gonna go down to where it says open mixer and you'll notice that the keyboard shortcut for the mixer is command two. It's the second most important window, and that's how I like to remember how to get to the mixer. Great. So you can see that we've got our mixer up, and if I click on any one of these tracks, you'll notice that the corresponding track in the arrange window also gets selected. And so this is a neat way to quickly see which track you're actually working with as you're working through the mixer. Now, I'm at 4.3 right now, I'm, I'm in the red and that's really not good. So I'm gonna select all of my tracks. You can click and drag over these tracks if you wanna select them all. Um, and if you're trying to deselect, see I've selected stereo by accident. If you wanna deselect a track, hold down command and click on the track and that'll deselect it. Great, I'm gonna move everything down because I don't really want to um, have everything at unity. I don't want everything at zero because I want to get a solid um, mix. And I'm going to start um, by resetting the output meter. Right now it's at 4.3. If I click right on it, that'll reset everything. And I'll start by kind of mixing around the actual drum. So let me press play. You can see there's signal coming out of here, and so I'm gonna go ahead and start um, adding in all of the uh, sounds. Now in this case, as I'm adding it up, you can see that I am currently um, really already clipping. So one way that we can kind of handle this is to go into our compressor, since there's already makeup gain in the compressor, and we can just turn the gain down a little bit. And you can see we're no longer uh, clipping in here. So let me reset the level. I think that'll be good for now. And I'll go ahead and start bringing in my slow jam hats. That's pretty good. I'll bring in my bass track. Still not clipping, still good. And I'll bring in my lead track. We'll stick around with that uh, as a preliminary mix and we'll kind of uh, use that as our as our reference for the rest of the track. Now, 
I can go a bit further with this because right now all I'm doing is just, you know, mixing the outgoing sound. Um, but that's not 100% the full picture. In fact, one thing that we can do is that we can actually switch to pre-fader metering. So let me actually adjust my toolbar up here at the top because I'm going to go ahead and bring that one in. I'm going to click the little disclosure triangle. I'm going to go to where it says customize control bar and display. And one of the extra tools that I'm going to use is this pre-fader metering. And what pre-fader metering is going to do is that it's actually going to show us the actual uh, incoming signal as early in the chain as possible before it actually gets to the fader. And that's going to be a little bit more helpful for us to actually make sure that the signals that we're working with are the right signals that we want to, uh, to, to use. So let me uh, turn that on. You'll notice something about each of these tracks. So I'll use this, uh, the bass track. So let me turn it on. And now that we're in pre-fader metering, now we can go a little bit earlier in the signal chain to start adjusting how loud each of these uh, tracks are. So let me go back to our mixer. Remember, Command-2 is the keyboard shortcut. And when we press play, let's see how our signal is actually responding once we're feeding from the start of our signal chain into the end. Yeah, you can see a couple things here. So our drums are okay. Um, our bass track is pretty loud coming in, so let's go ahead and actually adjust that. Sometimes your compressor will make things a lot louder than it needs to be, so I'm going to turn the makeup gain down a little bit. Great. About negative 12 is actually probably all right, and we can bring that back up. We can maybe boost it a little bit. We'll go to our leads over here, take a look at our sculpture. And if you're not looking at the mixer, you can also look at it right here. And this is also kind of starting to get really close to clip, a little bit too close for comfort. So we'll go in here and we'll just turn the, the level down on this one a little bit. Great. So that lets us reduce and then lets us pull up. And all we're really doing here is we're giving ourselves a little bit more headroom to work with so we get the most out of our sounds. <clears throat> cool. Okay. Great. And I'm noticing one more thing here is that I could probably stand to put a compressor on the sculptor now that I've kind of leveled it out uh, with our pre-fader metering, realizing that maybe I do need a little bit of compression on that uh, just to make sure that uh, it's really cutting through in the mix. Yeah, you can see that really pushes it over. So I'll bring the makeup gain down a little bit. And at any time, you can reset uh, our level meter. Cool. Wow, it's just trying some different studio uh, compressors just to get a different feel. Studio FET's sounding pretty good. I can lower the threshold a little bit and bring down the makeup gain as well so that it's not clipping. So as you're adding more tracks to your project, it's really important to take a look at your faders, take a look at your meters, uh, and make sure that you're not clipping over the threshold of that 0.0, .0 mark. And pre-fader meeting is a really helpful tool to make sure that the signal that you're working with isn't too hot, and your mixer is a really great tool to make sure everything plays back really balanced and evenly.